Hello, I'm Chris. I'm Jack. We're students at UIUC looking to build a robot to pass the squirrel Turing test, which means we want this robot to be so agile and natural that people will not be able to distinguish this from a real squirrel. And I'll be working on mostly the controls and electronics. And I will be working on the mechanical design of the robot. This is the picture of um, we working together in robot design lab at UIUC. And in this picture, Chris is uh, in the suit and controlling the robot, fighting against the fist. And I was handling the bar, which is connected to the uh, safety harness to make sure everything is operated safely. And uh, why do we want to build a squirrel? So um, squirrels are very common in the Midwest here. Uh, they're very relatable, um, yet they're very so impressive because of how agile they are. They can climb trees. They can do all these crazy things that robots currently cannot do. And so we named this robot after Pinto Bean, which is a famous squirrel here on campus um, that has this spotted fur. And so uh, robot squirrels are unique because they're able to jump, run, and climb all with the same set of hardware, unlike um, uh, humanoids or dogs. They also have a low center of gravity, which makes them um, very simple to balance. And also they're just be able to survive a lot of different disturbances. Um, so people can knock it over, but it can just stand back up. And it's also small and portable compared to other uh, similar robots. And this will be able to make it so that us two, as just a two-person team, not a robotics lab, be able to develop this easier. There are a few potential usage of this robot. Uh, first, it's able to uh, be used for a search and rescue. Since it is relatively small in size, it's able to fit in tight spaces. At the same time, it's able to uh, accomplish very difficult movements. And the second usage could be picking out small items from tight spaces or tough environments. Um, the third usage could be climbing up trees. Uh, climbing up trees is a unique character uh, related to squirrel. And uh, however, we don't really know like why we wanted to climb up trees, but it doesn't hurt to have that interesting feature. It's just so cool to climb up trees. And so, yeah, so this project started actually when I was in freshman year last year. Um, I was inspired by this robot built by Berkeley. Uh, it's called Salto 1P. It's a very uh, dynamic jumping robot on with one leg. It jumps about a meter high. high. And so I tried to copy this uh, using very cheap 3D printing. Um, and so I was able to get about four inches, not very much, but it's, it's definitely worth uh, continuing, I thought. So I designed a bunch of um, motor controller PCBs on the bottom left here. And so this is tried to get more, uh, more power density into the system. And so I also worked on some linkage optimization. Uh, so this is determining the right geometry in order to maximize the jump height of this leg. And so now since we're starting on the squirrel project, I am uh, recruited Jack here so because of his experience in mechanical design. And so we'll be working on putting uh, four legs of, like this together to get the full squirrel. And this is just some fun gifs of uh, my previous progress. Uh, this is the leg jumping with some help balancing. And um, in the middle, you can see the motor moving because of the, our own uh, motor controller. And on the right side, there's an optimized linkage. So hopefully this one will be able to jump even higher. There are a few new additions in terms of me mechanism. The first thing is a uh, uh, differential. When they're rotating in the same direction, they're able to change the uh, pitch of the leg. And when they rotate in different direction, they can control the contraction and expansion of the twisted string actuator. Um, both mechanisms have been used in robots in the past, but I think this is the first time that both mechanisms are combined together in a single um, jumping leg mechanism. In terms of expenses, um, we already have a few resources like a 3D printer and some fasteners. At the same time, our university has a lot of resource in terms of uh, machining, um, laser cutting, or water jet. However, we still need around $900, uh, and the biggest expenditure will go to electrical components since we will uh, need to design them and send them out for custom manufacturing. And the picture to the right contains all the um, pre previous prototypes, and we uh, name it the fail bag because um, 
innovation like this will always have a lot of failure. Yeah, so uh, this is the plan for our next year coming up. I'll be taking a gap semester to work on this full time. And then Jack, even though he will still be a full time student, he'll devote a lot of time to making this happen. So our plan is to uh, get the motor controller fuller working, put that into a hopping leg. And once we have the hopping leg, we can combine two of them or four of them into a full squirrel and then build the remote controller to control it with a human. And finally, we want to present this at Engineering Open House, which is a uh, annual event at the UIUC. So uh, people from all over the state come over to see all the cool um, technical projects. And thank you for your time.